Let's talk about using the notifier component. We're going to use our password text box right here and our enter password button to show you the different versions of the notifier component and how it works. So the first thing you need to do is go to the other stuff drawer and grab a notifier component and put that into your components viewer. You'll see it pops down here as a non-visible component. Let's go to our blocks editor here and show you the four different types of notifiers that you can use. What we're going to do is use what we've previously created here, which is when the password button is clicked, we want our answer label to show whatever is in that password text box. And to show you what I mean, I'll pull up my emulator. We've got our password text box here, and we'll type something in here and get rid of our keyboard. And then when we click our enter password button, I just typed in something and that shows up there. So we'll go back to our blocks editor. Now let's start using our notifier. We'll pull up the notifier blocks here. And the first one we'll do is notifier one show alert. So we're going to show an alert and whatever that notice is here is what's going to show up when somebody clicks on the password button. So we'll just use a text block and we'll say, your password is showing. Let's go to our emulator and see what we're doing here. So I've entered my password when I click the enter password button. The notifier pops up and when we use this version the show alert simply shows the alert. It says a message and then it disappears after a couple of seconds. Let's get rid of this and we'll use a different uh, notifier type here. So we'll get rid of that. And the next notifier we'll use is the show message dialog notifier. We'll pull that in here and we see we've got a couple of different slots. There's one for a message, which we'll just leave as your password is showing. There's one for a title. So we'll put a text title in here. We'll call that oops. And we have one spot for a button text. So I'll show you what that does in a second. But I'm just going to call that button OK. Now let's go to our emulator and we'll see when we click our enter password button, we get a notifier that says, oops, that's the title. Your password is showing. That's the message. And then the user can click OK and go back. Now there's another notifier that's relatively similar and I'll just leave these here for ease of use. We'll delete that and we'll go back to our notifier and choose the show choose dialog which actually gives you a lot of the same stuff here. You've got a message, you've got a title, but you've got two buttons that you can use and put text in. So we'll put text in here and we'll have one button say, okay. And the other button say, I was unaware of that. So now when we go back to our emulator, we'll click on our password button and you'll see that We've got our title, oops, our message, your password is showing, and I can either click OK, or I can click I was unaware of that. Now there's one last notifier type that you can use. We'll just get rid of all this. Pull up our notifiers again, and we can use the show text dialog. And I'll show you what this is. I'm actually going to go back here and just delete our password text box. And so if we go back to our blocks editor here, we'll now see in our emulator that we've got our enter password button that's still here, but our password text box is gone. What I'm going to do here is show you that you can add a text block as a message and one for a title. For a title, I'll say enter your password. And for the message, I'm going to say get your password from our website. And now since we deleted our password text box, these blocks are up top here are no longer valid. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and we'll pull up the emulator and I'll show you what we're doing here. If we pull up our emulator, we've got our notifier set to go off when the password button is clicked. So I'll click the password button 
And you can see our title shows up here, enter your password, and the message is get your password from our website. So if you want somebody to sign up with you at your website for some sort of a service and you want them to enter a password, but you want them to know that you need to get a password from your specific website before you can enter the app or move on to a different part of the app, you can do that here and then they can enter their password, click OK, and then they can move on to whatever part of your app you want them to move on to. And you'll have to code that down below here. But I think this is good enough just to show you how the notifier works.